We are hanging out with Ruby, you guys, in the garage. Uh, today's gonna be a detail video. Ruby uh, has had uh, some of the, uh, kind of we'll call it, more readily available, the cheaper ceramic coatings, like the HydroCharge from Chemical Guys, and the, uh, the new ceramic or SiO2 uh, infused waxes. Um, so the car is uh, dusty from just maybe a couple days of driving. Still looks pretty good to be honest. Uh, I was running out errands with the wife all day today. We even uh, went grocery shopping and took the kids out for a ride, which is kind of cool. But uh, so the car's still looking pretty good. I'm gonna wipe her down, get all the dust off, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get the uh, product applied. The products we're gonna be doing today, or checking out today, I should say, um, are all Chemical Guys uh, products, you guys. I am a Chemical Guy kind of freak or a big fan right now. Um, picked up some of their towels today from the Detail Garage in North Phoenix. Uh, I'm gonna try out this new, um, uh, it's not a it's not a new wax, but it's a uh, it's an old school. Uh, I call it the luminous glow infusion. I think it's more marketing uh, stuff than anything, you guys. But it's a seventy dollar bottle of wax, so it's it's most likely going to be. I don't know. Hopefully, it's going to give me the kick that I want. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this product. So I'm going to hit the glaze first. I'm going to try this wet mirror finish. So I've had a lot of luck in the past with glazes, you guys. The only issue is that you have to layer them, and then you got to layer it with a with some wax. Um, it's 106 degrees in the garage right now, so uh, I'll be going in a lot, and it's still 1.30 in the afternoon. So we're gonna get the car uh, surface just kind of decontaminated, make sure there's no dust on it basically, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the first round of glaze. And I'll give you guys a preview of that in just a second here. We'll cut back in. I'm gonna try and give it the two, it recommends on the back to do it with two coats um, for, for best coverage. Then we're gonna hit it with the, uh, I think we're gonna just do the lava. See what that looks like. I'm kind of excited to try this. I've never tried this before. I have tried some of their Jet Seal products. This is almost like a Jet Seal, but it's got uh, additional stuff in it like Carnuba um, and some gloss enhancers. Um, what they're trying to do now, you guys, it's, it's all to make it basically user friendly. So they're, they're, they're mixing multiple products into one, basically. That's what you're getting with this. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a good thing, especially when it's uh, 106 degrees. At, see what I mean? Um, so we'll see what we can do. But I think what I'm gonna do is start with the glaze hit it with the wax, and then if I've got the energy and the stamina, we'll go with the, uh, the top coat. We did pick up some of their uh, nicer towels, so we're getting away from the Costco stuff uh, this time. Um, edgeless on this, a nice long pile. And then this, uh, it's got edging, but it's they're, they're silk edges, so they don't scratch, basically, here. So, we'll see what it looks like, you guys. Um, and just for reference, Ruby is a red hot color, so it's, it does have some orange in it. That's one of the reasons I was kind of excited to try that uh, that lava paste wax. Um, it's supposed to, supposedly, it's designed for cars that are in this spectrum of colors. The reds, the purples, the blues, the oranges, um, the greens, that kind of thing. Things that, uh, I don't know, just have a little bit more color to them. So I'm hoping it'll, uh, and again, you guys, I know it's not like the car looks bad right now. <laughs> Basically, I'm kind of indulging, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to trying some new Chemical Grise products. I do love their products. Huge, huge fan. And uh, I'll give you an idea how big of a fan I am. I like their stuff. It's just, it's always easy to use. Um, it's readily available. Um, just good stuff. This is all uh, the stuff I would buy by the gallon. I think it's their, uh, it's their, it's a spray wax basically. Um, the wrap detailer stuff is really, really good. And I'm gonna show you what that guys, uh, what this does today, you guys. This stuff is really, really good. Especially it gives the, uh, the wrap a little bit of extra gloss, especially if you're not a fan of the uh, Chevrolet uh, wrapped hoods which uh, believe it or not you guys some of us are not fans of the wrapped hood look so if you can give it a little extra gloss it just looks nicer um i have tried the ultimate glaze i'm assuming maybe just a slight difference in formulation over what i picked up today um but again i just wanted to show you just a big big fan of uh, the chemical guys stuff it's always good stuff all right here we go 8.41 in the p.m. and still 106 degrees, as you saw. Now, what we've done is we've applied two coats of the wet, what is it here? Wet mirror finish. 
uh, from the chemical guys. Then I hit it with one coat of the, let me show you guys this, the extreme top coat. So we did two coats of this and 106 degrees. Yes, and I've been working all day. Uh, one coat of this, we just took the stuff off. Um, I've been giving it about maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes to cure in between um, coats because it's hot as hell. I go inside, kind of cool off, enjoy the AC for a little bit, drink a couple bottles of water, and then head back out. So, this is what we're looking like so far. Let's do the roof. That looks a little bit better. That looks pretty good, dude. I don't see a lot of like ghosting and haze, you know what I mean? So it means the products are coming out pretty well. It's pretty solid, dude. Look what it did to the wing. Nice and glossy. Now again, I know most people are not over as overzealous as I am. You guys are gonna sit there and do this many coats, but I appreciate the extra protection and I definitely like the gloss. And we are on a Sunday and it's Hot as hell, and we're during COVID-19. It's too, there's nowhere really to go. So, chill out and wax and detail your 1LE. I think it looks pretty good, dude. Now, I'm still gonna hit it with this lava wax, you guys. I know it's pretty intense. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, what, coat number four. So we're gonna finally try this lava wax. That'll just melt off there. It's pretty good. We do not. I actually got the bottom. All right, you guys, here we go. Final coat. It's kind of Let's zoom on this light just to kind of give us a reference. Right on, here we go. All right, you guys, here's the results of the uh, two coats of glaze yesterday. And then we did a coat of the uh, ultimate sealant from Chemical Guys. And then on top, even though it killed me last night, <laughs> we did a coat of the uh, lava wax which is, like I said, the uh, most expensive wax I've ever purchased. Um, I'll be honest, man, I almost forgot how good waxes look. And actually, to be honest, I think I'm gonna switch over. Um, as a detail kind of freak, you guys, I don't mind uh, working on the car. Even, obviously, as I showed you yesterday, even when it's 106 degrees. Look at that, dude. So honestly, I don't mind reapplying, you know, once every month or three months like they say. I actually don't mind applying every two weeks. So I enjoy the process. It gives me something to do. I chill out in the garage, play some music, and uh, listen to some stand-up comedy, man. Just chill out. I think that looks really, really good. The product works very, very well. Get a little closer, even on the insert. And again, this is direct sunlight. Very glossy, you guys. Again, with the wing as well. And I just dropped my wife off to pick up her car at the dealership. So this is not even fresh, fresh, fresh out of the garage. Now, I do have the advantage of being in Arizona, you guys, so uh, when it's cooking in the garage for, you know, seven, eight, nine hours as I sleep, it's curing quickly. Honestly, dude, I'm sold on this lava wax stuff and these glazes. I'm going to go back, dude. I'm going old school. This is insane. 